After a long day of traveling, the boys have made it halfway to Wales, all thanks to the kindness of strangers. All right, we have got our first ride here. Hey, hey, there's, uh, there's Lynn. <laughs> Dumb luck and perseverance have gotten them this far. So what's the next step? Well, that's the $10,000 question. We, we have two options. We can go into Birmingham. There's like a big city. Mm -hmm. Or we go to Tamworth to this services thing. I'm, I'm willing to give it a shot. It's a big gamble. Because the thing is, once you're in one of these spots, yeah. you're stuck. True. But if you go to a city, you can always get on a train or whatever. True. So what are we going to do? Should we go with Lynn or do we head to the city? Uh, so we just got a message from Lynn. I said, uh, we'll wait in the petrol station for when you get here. And she's replied, okay, got you a sandwich. Ching, ching. We were stuck between going out to this Tamworth station thing or going into town. And that has kind of just swayed the pendulum, right? Massively. So yeah, we're waiting out for our sandwich and, uh, and the ride. As of right now, we're going with the Lynn plan. The limb plan is a little sketchy. I have faith in the limb plan. The issue is, is the sleep. It would really suck if we get there and they tell us to leave. I'm scared that it's gonna be an isolated highway situation like the one that we were at this morning. Sandwich is gonna go well, man. Hope she hasn't got one with mayonnaise in it. You don't like mayonnaise? Oh, no. really? Yeah. No, I'm joking. I would be grateful for anything. Hello. It would seem we've made the right decision then, Lynn. I think so, I do. Do you believe in like fate and destiny and things like that? Well, I sort of felt like when you offered to, to come back and get us, that it's just, no matter what, it was the right decision. Yeah, yeah, I do believe in it, yeah. Thank Wishing you, you a safe journey and good luck. Yes. Don't forget your bags. We will not, we need those. Thank you, Lynn. You're welcome. All right, take care, love. Take care, bye. Brando. You're about to tell Lynn, I love bye you. Bye-bye. <sighs> Next stop. So I suppose let's go and eat this food. Yeah. And then we'll figure out a plan. Yeah. Victory food. Thank you, Lynn. Honestly, right now, our food is just incredible. Here's to you, Lynn. With some food in our bellies, we're feeling a lot better, but we need a plan. We head outside to talk to the lorry drivers. Maybe they can get us to Wales. So they're all just hanging out in their lorry. Basically, we we'll like walk around and if we happen to see one, say like, hey, crazy question, are you going anywhere near Wales? Super crazy, but we're doing a challenge. And we're yep. trying to get towards Wales. That's why you're going towards Wales, Chloe. Yeah. Random, very random question. Um, basically, we're doing this challenge where we have to travel five countries in seven days right. with no money. Uh, we've travelled from Milton Keynes so far. I'm going to be going the wrong way. Yeah, we're going towards Wales. I'm going down Cornwall. Cornwall way. All right, mate. No problem. Unfortunately, that's the boss over there, so I wouldn't be able to take any. Money. No, no problem, mate. Um, what, what do you think the likelihood is? is? Is it a thing? Like you might. This day and age, you probably it would be hard. Yeah. Obviously, if you were traders, if you had set a trade place and you were going that way. Yeah. Get people to pick you up fairly easy enough, but okay. you might get someone to take you. Yeah. yeah. Thanks, Thanks, buddy. I bet I bet the inside of these freaking things are like disgusting. Well, some <laughs> of them would be like mini hotels in there. Yeah, possibly. Yeah. Excuse me, buddy. Very, very <laughs> random question, mate. Very random question. Um, <laughs> we're basically doing um, a challenge from a. Uh, uh, we're basically doing five countries in seven days, um, and we're looking to get to Wales. I don't suppose you're going in that direction by any chance? No, I'm, I'm not going from seven. Oh, you're okay. stopping here now. Okay, no problem, mate. Wait, Sorry, is, you... is, do you think everyone in this park here, yeah. they're like sleeping here? Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right, bro, thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, this doesn't look good. It seems that the drivers are parked up for the night. Maybe we can try again first thing in the morning. Uh, to try and hitchhike here at night in the dark, it's probably dangerous for one and really unlikely to work. Like, look how few cars are coming through. Unless we sit outside that, that service station with the sign. We can give it a shot. Yeah. 
You wanna try that? Yeah. I'll tell you what though, the Lin food held. Yeah, it did. I Big feel time. I feel better. Big time. Having eaten that food. Yeah, it feels it just feels bad to just sort of be stuck. I I, I could see us hitching a ride out of here in the morning, but it's just very tough right now. It's very weird that we're walking through the lorries and there's there's old men getting changed like they're naked and stuff. <laughs> Don't lie, you like it, man. <laughs> <laughs> Rando has just made this incredible sign and now we're going to hustle the front door of this service station to try and get something, hopefully. I mean, a lift of whales would be nice, but otherwise a few bucks is A lift of whales would be incredible, man. Yeah. I do, I do it for a living. I'm a trade play driver. Oh, okay. But I've been broke down on the motorway and I've just been picked up. Oh, geezer right, yeah. with a ah. recovery dive. So oh. what I normally do is go on the garage when they're fueling up. Say, excuse me, you're not going anywhere near Wales. Or say you're not an expert or something like that. Yeah, Break yeah. the ice. Yeah, you know of course. That's what yeah. I would normally do. Okay. I no, appreciate that, mate. That's fucking okay, hell. Good luck. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. It's, it's, it's tough going. Good luck, mate. I'm telling you, honestly, <laughs> good luck. I, I, it's I bad enough you... for me when they give me a car and like tell me to fuck off. Like, you know? <laughs> I, I don't suppose you have a couple uh, pound any uh, loose change. No, no, no. Okay. Sorry, I hate to ask, but no, 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 literally listen, anything else. My old man always used to say, if you don't ask, you don't get. Tenor. Oh, oh my man, you're an absolute legend. Keep man. yourself fucking hydrated, though, boys. Yeah. Thank you yes, so much, uh, mate. I'm, I'm serious. I know what it's like because I do it for a living. But yeah, mate. Thank you so much. Happy days. Top, top, happy top days. Guy. Happy thank days. you, Dad. Really, really do no, appreciate it. Good luck, honestly. Cheers, you need man. it. Brilliant. Brilliant. Thanks. <laughs> All the best, mate. See you later. Cheers, man. Thank you. Bye, bye. Come on, man. What a legend. What a legend. Well played. That is a big score. We decided to approach one last person. He told us his name was Doug, and he explains that he may be able to help us out. You're right, buddy. Yeah. Right, I'll be looking up after a bit of the toilet. Best I can do for you, but it's a bit tricky to actually get you moving. Right. That's the end. That's the junction I'm on about. They get you to the M54, right? And then that takes you towards Shrewsbury. You can either chance going to Hilton, chance them 6J7, or wait here for someone who's going further than I am. You've got three options. Mm. How long do you want to think on it? Uh, just a minute. One minute, mate. One sure. minute. One, yeah. <laughs> I can go out of my way a little bit and I'm happy to do that to get you to this service between the 10 and 11 because up ahead there's a junction where I can just turn around and come back. Now it's worth noting, a few people had already told us this was not a good spot to be if we wanted to get to Wales. It's a proper service, it's like here, I'm not going to leave you on a verge as well, so okay, you're safe. Well then it, yeah. Right, okay then, right. That's all right. Before we knew it, we was on our way once again. I must admit, hitchhiking feels very, very different at night. Yeah, safe journey home, yeah. Best. Yeah, yeah, no Doug. worries, catch it We made it <laughs> somewhere, <laughs> somewhere. <Yes. laughs> I think that that move from where we just were to where we are now could pay dividends. Yeah. He was the last dude. Yeah, we were, we were getting ready to pack it in. He was the last dude. <laughs> and this was even a last minute decision. Like we've said, like fate, we took the Lynn route. Mm. Lynn route got us here, really. What, what, what would you say about uh, hitchhiking at night? <laughs> it's it's nerve-wracking, man. I can't, I can't recommend it, really. No, like, I'm like a big dude, so I, like, I was getting in that car and I was actually thinking, I don't know what to do if this guy just turns around and goes crazy. You just give him one of these. I don't really. I don't know. even know if we're gonna get some sleep here. I just yawned as well. Man needs to sleep. Yeah. Being the friendly lads we are, we got talking to a group of girls, and they quickly showed their kindness by wanting to help us out. Tired. Really tired. I'm like jet lagged, so I flew from Australia for, for this. We don't. We don't want to ask. Yeah. It's fine, but don't worry, don't worry, don't worry, it's fine. No, 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 no. I'd get up, but I'm disabled. Don't make me hot over. Well, look, I'm, I'm not going to have a coffee, but Adam will. Alright. You're so sweet. Thank you so much. My name, my name is Brandon, by the way. Oh, I'm Carla. Evelyn. Hi. Evelyn? Evelyn. Nice to meet you. I'm Dulcie. Dulcie, nice to meet you. name, Carla. Who would have thought it? We are already being talked into getting up to no good. The girls said they would take us to a local train station and explained we could sneak onto a train which would take us much closer to Wales. If you don't buy a ticket and then buy a ticket when they ask you. Can you do that? Yeah, yeah. say the stop that you just, the stop that you passed and then to the next stop and it'll be cheaper. 
This is ride number four of the day. Ride number four. Make it. Yeah, I hope so. I hope so. That's one step closer. This was a big gamble. So we want to get to Wolverhampton and then we're getting off at Wolverhampton and we're going to go straight for Hollyhead. We want to be in Hollyhead for quarter past two tomorrow morning. Kids, don't try this at home. We smashed this today. We have. They won. <laughs> I don't know. Let's just keep this party rolling. Yeah, let's do that. We are just two trains away from Hollyhead, North Wales. Can we really make it to Wales on our first day? Nope, that's the ticket inspector and they want to see tickets. Uh, one stop, that's all it is, 15 minutes. And I think due to the cameras on the train, we got asked for, uh, for a ticket basically. So we've just had to spend 12 pound 40 of the money that we've got today, which is a fucking blow because we got about £14.60 or something like that. Massive, massive hit to the budget. We really don't want to be stuck in Wolverhampton tonight. It's a massive, massive blow. We have a huge dilemma. Do we take the risk and try to sneak onto another train for two and a half hours to Hollyhead? Or do we figure out another plan for the morning? Well, he who dares wins. Let's gamble. Ah, another ticket inspector. Are you kidding me? This could be the end of the challenge right here. If we get fined, that's it, game over. We need to talk our way out of this fast. Some time had passed and we waited and waited for the inspector to come back. He never did. We cannot believe it. The charm has worked. That just happened. That just happened, man. So sick. We showed him the video. He just was like, I believe you. And he walked off. Some dude was hiding in the toilet um, and it kind of took him away from us. And now we're getting a train for two and a half hours. We got fine then. This is big trouble. Big, big trouble. So sick. It's a crazy day. Crazy day. Yeah. Two hours later. We made it. We're here and we were in Hollyhead. Come on. It's freezing cold it's right so now. So cold. <laughs> I don't know what we're going to do right now. Uh, uh, we need to find some shelter or something as soon as possible. Yeah, I'm, you can probably see the camera shaking. I'm freezing. It's kind of hard to explain just how freaking cold it is. So cold it started raining. Yeah. on the UK 10K. Yo, yo, good morning everybody. Off to try and get some food. Well, that was a raging failure. They will put us up a room tonight. Uh oh, how does he do it? I run good, buddy. You do. I run good. That was gnarly. That was awesome. And now I'm on a cliff face in Wales. <laughs> like, I don't really understand how that happens. <laughs> 